Hello guys, I am back. So today I am going to discuss topic four, which is the third managerial function of management, and it is leading. Okay, so uh, for the previous uh, modules, we have discussed the first two management function or function of management which are your planning and organizing. So this one is the second to the last uh, topic before you have your midterms. Okay, so um, uh, just a uh, background. Actually, the topic on, topic on leadership or leading is a long one. So makikita nyo sa ebook ninyo na ang uh, part part 5 which is leading ay composed of four chapters which are your interpersonal and organizational that is chapter 14 chapter 15 is organizational behavior which is a separate subject kaya nga hindi ko na rin siya discuss or hindi ko na rin siya include because it's a separate subject or a separate course and you can check on my YouTube uh, playlist in HBO if you want to have a background. Chapter 16 is leadership. And chapter 17 is all about motivation. And motivation is one of the topics also for organizational behavior. Um, so in this, um, in this uh, lecture, I will be focusing on chapter 16, which is leadership. Okay, so uh, at the end of this module, you should be able to define leader and leadership, differentiate a leader from a manager, compare and contrast early uh, theories of leadership, describe the three major contingency theories of leadership, describe contemporary views of leadership, and lastly, to recognize the 21st century issues affecting leadership. But before we go to the topic proper, of course, as a tradition, I will be recognizing the top scores for quiz number four, which is all about organizing. Okay. For uh, 1BSBAA, these are the top scores. By the way, um, the top score here the top scores here class ay yung sa part the yung sa mismong quiz lang hindi ko pa in include yung 3 points for the attendance okay so it's a total of 21 points so this is over 18 at merong naka 18 over 18 to section A si Annalyn Torrio palakpakan naman natin siya congratulations marami rin naka 17 16 and 15. Ay, kung maraparas lang din yung mga pangalan sa kayong mga active din sa klase, is eh, sila rin yung mga nag-top. So, congratulations, guys! Okay, dito naman tayo sa BSB. And, of course, Joanaline Suga got 18 over 18. Congratulations! And si Freder Frederick John Julian, 17. And, kaya ko siya na-recognize. It is because nakita ko na siya rin ang pinakauna na nag-take ng quiz. Yet, top score siya. Very good. Okay. And also, si Angel Pajasabaya and Sunshine Pagtan, 18 over 18. Yes naman, congratulations. BSBC represent. Okay. And BSBD, pinakamarami sa kanilang nako-perfect. Si Carl James, Naira, Jan Vincent Bakiran, at si Janela Aranda. Okay, congratulations, guys. Okay, so uh, let us now proceed to the discussion proper. Yeah, of course. We have to discuss what leading is, right? So it's the management function that involves the use 
of influence to motivate employees to achieve organization's goals. That is according to Richard Da. He is another author of a management book. Okay, and of course, let us emphasize that leading is also known as directing. And at the same time, it is also known as motivating because motivation is a really important concept in leadership. Okay. And at the same time, this goes beyond simply managing tasks. Rather, it involves communicating, motivating, inspiring, encouraging employees towards a higher level of productivity. So actually, doon sa inyong study guide, I have written, I think, a lot of references for this first topic kasi um, very limited lang yung nasa book. So I hope you could read that and you could post it in your group notes. Okay. So, let us uh, now discuss who are leaders and what is leadership. So, according to Robbins, or our, the authors of our book, actually, dalawa sila, so Robbins and Mary Coulter, a leader is someone who can influence others and who has managerial authority. Okay, I think we have discussed the definition of authority last time. And at the same time, leadership is a process of leading a group and influencing that group to achieve its goals. So leadership is what leaders do. Okay. I remember, um, I think, uh, although mahirap kasi siyang define leadership is actually um, um very broad yung kanyang definition. Pwede mo siyang i-define in many ways. I remember kasi when I was in elementary, hello sa mga nag-aral sa Lingayan One Central School, kung meron man, dahil dito lang din sa Lingayan, at sa Pangasinan National High School, when I was in elementary, I I served as um, Association of Barangay Captains President at the same time Pupil Government Organization Governor pa ata tawag doon so parang president siya Pero in high school I became also the president of SSG or Supreme Student Government ng Pangasin National High School that was oh, 2010 to 2011 so leadership talaga is really um important, hindi siya madali because syempre you are directing people towards your goals and sometimes hindi mo talaga sila mapapasunod. So as a leader, lalo na sa inyong group works, I have, I get a lot of messages saying na um, mami may hindi po tumutulong, ganyan, although syempre kasalanan, hindi may kasalanan pero there must be a reason why but as a leader, you should be able to do something. You should be able to make a change. Okay? So, I am I am uh, inspiring. I am encouraging the leaders, group leaders na, syempre kung walang dito, may dito mo tulong, ganyan. What is your uh, action? Kung baga, paano ka mag-intervene para tumulong sila sa next activity? So, did you ask them or did you encourage them? Did you motivate them? Then, you, did you delegate the task? Hindi mo siya sinasolo? Ganyan. So, hopefully, um, sa mga future, ano rin dyan, future student leaders ng PSU, at meron din tayong org, yung JBMA, Junior Business Managers Association, and plus yung future managers, I hope marami kayong matutunan dito. Okay. Now, what is the difference between a boss or a manager and a leader? And which is better? So, as you can see here, of course, leader is much better than a boss or a manager. So, ito yung pagkakaiba nila. Number one, a boss or a manager uh, drives employees. So, ibig sabihin, they direct them, but a leader coaches them. At the same time, boss depends on authority and leader depends on goodwill. Boss inspires fear kasi takot sa'yo lahat ng mga 
um, mga ka-subordinates mo, but if you are a leader, you generate enthusiasm. Instead of um, generating fear, you generate kumbaga, motivation, you you exude your enthusiasm, kumbaga yung energy mo to bring positive things. Ayan. Boss or manager says I and a leader says we. Hindi niya sinasolo ang mga um, acknowledgement, mga accomplishments, ganyan. Boss place, places blame for the breakdown, but the leader fixes the, fixes the breakdown. Boss knows how it is done. A leader show, shows how it is done. A boss or manager uses people. A leader develops people. A boss or manager takes credit while a leader gives credit. A boss or manager commands while a leader asks a request. Yan, a boss or manager says go and a leader says let's go. Okay? When I was in, syempre, when I was young, my dream is to become a boss or a manager. Okay? Kasi ang work lang naman, nakala ko kasi ang work lang talaga ng boss or manager, magpipirma lang eh, di ba? As you can see, hindi magpipirma lang ang work niya, but rather, he joins the team, he motivates the team, he encourages the team, the team rather, and syempre, kung baga kinu-coach niya sila, ganon. So, all the, all the positive things ay sa leader. So, aspire to be a leader and not as a manager. Yan. So, ano ang nakikita natin dito sa picture na to? Yan. So, a leader, yan, hinihila niya. Kung merong work, tinutulungan niya yung mga uh, subordinates niya or mga katin niya. While a manager, taga-utos lang. Okay? But, the question is, and by the way, this is just an overview. Maraming difference between a leader and manager. I think it is, it is included as the, uh, as a question, as a reflection question in your activity. So hopefully, makasama-sama niyo lahat ng ideas ng research na to come up with a good answer. Okay, but the uh, question now here is, are all managers leaders? If I would ask you, ano ang sagot niyo? Okay. So, sabi dito, because leading is one of the four management functions, ideally, yes, all managers should be leaders. But in reality, not all managers are leaders. Okay? Yung iba kulang lang skills, yung iba mga, yung iba, um, um, yun nga, kaya nga siya tinan tinawag na are all managers leaders kasi meron silang pakakaiba. Okay, so depende na lang kung paano niya explain yon. Okay, so now we will discuss the leadership theory. So, um, how did we come up with the leadership theories? It is because nagkaroon ng researches. Okay, so the research has the researches have been aimed at answering these questions: What is an effective leader? How does the leader interact with his or group, her group? members and can we create leaders and how okay there is an underlying question that we must answer okay na sabi niya is a leader born or made okay we will uh ipos mo muna tong ano if you attempt to answer this for the bonus question you pause it first and then answer for the bonus question number one Okay, is a leader born or made? And, syempre, defend it in the comment section. Ayan, so sa mga nagko-comment sa mga previous videos, antay-antay lang ng results. Okay, so, yan, pinas ko na ba? Okay, continue ko na ha. Okay, there are several leadership theories, pero naka-revolve uh, siya sa dalawa, which are your trait theories, trait as in characteristic, ganun. And the second is your behavioral theories. Okay, so trait theories class, it has emerged during the 1920s and 1930s, and it focused on identifying personal characteristics that differentiated leaders from non-leaders. Okay, but it was, the research was unsuccessful. 
Later research on the leadership process identified seven traits associated with successful leadership. So, merong pito dyan na isa-isahin din natin. Okay? Um, what I was uh, reading this, I think the trait theory focuses on a leader is born. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pinanganak ka na meron kang ganitong characteristics because you are bo a born leader. So, ang um, seven traits na associated with leadership is number one, your drive. Okay, drive means your, I think, your motivation then. You have a high effort level, high desire for achievement, ganyan. Second, okay, you have the desire to lead. Leaders have a strong desire to influence and lead others. Okay, third, honesty and integrity. Leaders build consistency. Consist, uh, leaders build trusting relationships with followers by being truthful or non-deceitful deceitful, and by showing high consistency between word and deed. Okay, very important yun as a leader. Okay, so, syempre, um, i-comment yun naman below kung sino ang mga, um, although aside from pa doon sa reflection question natin na sino sa mga leaders ng Pilipinas ang pinaka iniidulo na yun na feeling nyo merong ganito. Okay? Pwedeng national, pwedeng local, ganun. Okay, four is self-confidence. Followers look for leaders for absence of self-doubt. Okay? Kasi kung hindi confident yung leader mo, paano ka ma-encourage, di ba? Kumbaga, pag ikaw, wala kang confidence. Dapat yung leader may may confidence para meron sa inyo mag-encourage. Five is intelligence. Yes, of course. Hindi lang sa educational background, pero yung continue, continuing yung learning niya, ganyan. Six is job-relevant knowledge. So, mas maganda siguro sa mga national uh, national government officials natin, dapat Econ-related sila or sa public administration, mga policy making, ganun. Diba? So, kung kayo ay 18 and above na, um, please register to vote para makabotol ninyo yung mga uh, mga mabotol ninyo ang nararapat at merong mga ganitong characteristics. Okay? Seven is extroversion. Leaders are an energetic, lively people. Ang extroversion kasi mas more unsociable, ganyan. Kasi pag introvert siya, paano siya makikipag-communicate, di ba? Ayan. So, share ko din. Ano ba? Sino ba ang idol ko? Okay. Uh, ang idol ko ay si, actually, si Lenny Robredo. Okay. Although, syempre, um, pinatag na dilawan, ganyan, or whatever. Actually, oh, hindi siya dilawan niya. Eh. Ako din, hindi rin naman ako dilawan o hindi rin ako pro-Duterte, but I am pro-Philippines. At nakikita ko na um, si Lenny Robredo kasi nakikita ko yung mga achievements niya, lalo na nyo sa COVID-19 response. At syempre, meron siyang econ-related background, kaya alam niya din yung kung ano yung mga nararapat for the country, ganun. So, at the same time, syempre, dapat very... Uh, ito yung mga hinahanap ko as a leader. Dapat ikaw ay... Um, ikaw ay understanding sa mga tao kung anong mga needs nila. Okay. Pero, actually, as a leader, dapat magaling din magplano, no? So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang plano, but sa implementation. Kasi kung um okay lang sa umpisa or okay lang yung plan pero hindi naman na-implement ng maayos, pangit din. Kaya, ang isang leader dapat marunong siya mag-plan, marunong siya mag-organize or syempre yung pag-select natin ng mga right people, kunyari sa, yung sa mga pagiging head ng departments, ganyan. Syempre, itong leading. Okay, so, um, uh, syempre, when you are a leader, you should be able to exude positivity, ganyan. Yung nakaka-inspire ka talaga ng mga tao. yon So, um, tanin yung mga atin nyo kung um, kung naging SSG president ba nila ako, ganyan. Yung mga atin nyo. Kasi 2011 pa lang naman yun. I'm still young. 
ayun. So, yung second naman, aside from trick theories class, ay yung early leadership theories or yung sa ating behavioral, behavioral theories. Okay, so, meron tayong apat, University of Iowa Studies, Ohio State Studies, University of Michigan Studies, and yung extra natin yung managerial grade. So, isa-isahin natin sila. Okay. So, actually, meron tayong tatlong leadership styles according to Kurt Lewin of University of Iowa Studies. Um, autocratic, democratic, and lazy sphere. Okay. Number one is yung autocratic. Autocratic is the same as authoritative. Centralized yung authority. Meaning, lahat ng mga nanggagaling, kumbaga, yun mo, lahat ng utos ay nanggagaling lang sa president, sa manager, sa boss, ganon. Okay? And usually, wala kang say sa ano man ang sasabihin ng, uh, ano man ang sasabihin ng, walang, walang say ang, ang mga members sa isang organization. Okay. Second is democratic style. Okay, which is the involvement or high involvement, high participation and feedback. Itong democratic style is anyone can say their thoughts, can suggest kung ano ang mga dapat gawin, ganon. Okay, and Lisa Sphere, sabi nito, is the their opposite of autocratic leadership. Kasi um, instead of a single leader making all decisions, yung Lisa Sphere leaders make few decisions and allow their staff to choose appropriate workplace solutions. Okay, so democratic everyone. Lazy's fair is usually members. Sinahayaan niya lang sila. Hindi siya nakikialam. And autocratic yung leader lang. Okay, so research findings. Actually, mixed results siya. So specific style was consistently better for producing better for performance, but employees were more satisfied under a democratic leader than under an autocratic leader. Okay. Next is uh, the studies by University of Michigan. So, dito naman merong dalawa na dimensions of leader behavior. Number one is employee-oriented or mas more on human, humanitarian siya. And second is yung production-oriented. Okay. Um, kasi... If you are a manager or a leader, hindi mo alam kung ano ang ipaprioritize mo. The employees mo ba or yung yung operations mo? Okay? Hopefully, ma-prioritize mo siya both. Pero um, in many cases, kailangan mo talagang uwi. Okay? And research findings, leaders who are employee-oriented are strong, strongly associated with high group productivity and high job satisfaction. Okay? According naman sa Ohio State, I must more on the idea of consideration or being considerate of followers, ideas, and feelings. Okay, yato mas more on humanitarian din siya. So, according to the researches, high, high leader or high cons in consideration and high and in initiating structure achieved high subordinate performance and satisfaction but not in all situations. So, depende rin siguro sa um, different contingencies. Okay. The next is the managerial grid. So, the managerial grid appraises leadership style using two dimensions, concern for people and concern for production. So, the managerial grid class, it's very likely ito, employee-oriented and production-oriented, concern for people and concern for, for production. So, very connected siya. It places managerial styles in five categories, impoverished management, task management, middle of the road management, country club management, and team management. So, paano natin siya interpret Okay. So, dito, yung ating uh, y-axis is concern for people. Ibig sabihin yung ka-vertical. Yung horizontal is concern for production. Ibig sabihin nun, pag um, ito, Okay. Um, uh, just recall your algebra. Siguro. Algebra ba ito? Kasi yung mga coordinates ninyo. Ang coordinates nito is dito sa concern for production ay 1 siya. Okay. And concern for people ay 9. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay tinatawag na country club management. Okay. Bakit? 
Okay, country club management siguro kasi masyadong mataas yung people niya, di ba? Siguro kasi sa country club, bagay country club, yung parang inaisip nila yung sa membership, ganun. Okay. Ito naman is, ito yung very ideal, yung 999 ka nga sa production, concern for production, 9 ka rin naman sa uh, concern for its people. Okay, ito namang 1-1, low ka na nga for concern for people, low for din for, for, production, for production. Ito naman, baliktad, high yung concern mo for production, low naman sa concern for people. Okay, meron naman itong gitna, middle of the road management. What do you think? It's this better. Okay, team management or middle of the road management kasi gitna lang siya. Okay, pero actually ito yung result niya. Okay, um, this one daw is uh, dump and pendulum, tawag sa kanya. Okay, dito naman middle of the road management. Push for production, but don't go all out. Be fair, but for dinner. Okay. Team management is production from integration of tasks and human requirements. So this one is the best. Country club management production is incidental to lack of conflict and good fellowship. Okay. Impoverish management naman. Effective production is unobtainable because people are lazy, apathetic, and indifferent. Sound and mature relationships are difficult to achieve because of human nature and conflict is inevitable. And yung task management, yung baliktad, mas more on concern on production kaysa uh, people. People are commodity, just like machines. Okay, remember your scientific management, ganyan. A manager's responsibility is to plan, direct, and control the work of those subordinate to him. Okay. Yon. So, I think I will be cutting the video here. Ayan. And I will be discussing the contingen contingency theories of leadership in the part 2 of this video. I'll see you guys.